Hi everyone. Hello. Just jumping on here. So a quick live. I'm at the airport again, heading to Taronga, to back to New Zealand. Heading there uh, once a month for four months for uh, the Evolve by Choice immersion training, so that I will be then qualified as a uh, Evolve by Choice coach. And uh, I've just got back, touched down on Sunday from Singapore, running my eight-day NLP practitioner training. And uh, Curtis is with me. Hey, Curtis. What's up, man? So uh, <laughs> we're heading together this time, which is really, really cool. Hey. We both get coached up. We are. And uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, so what I wanted to jump on and talk about was how I survive, how I do it when I have a gorgeous, adorable, almost three-year-old at home. Yeah. It's definitely uh, different to um, have a little human being that's normally reliant on you at home. And uh, the first time Curtis and I uh, left Brooklyn home with our helper was huge for us, wasn't it? Yeah, that was, it wasn't cool. It, was, it still hurts, but we're better in ourselves as parents and as people, so it makes it all worth it in the end. Yeah. Short sacrifice for long-term achievement. Totally. And here's the thing. Um, one, of the, one of the things that I've not been very good at, I've, I'm so independent and strong as a woman, is uh, asking people for help and allowing that support in. Uh, we always want to support others and in order to really support to the degree that I want to, that means me showing up in that way as well. So that means me, hey Joe, how you going gorgeous girl? That means me showing up in that way and being willing to allow others to help and, and to support and let go of control can be really easy to want to have it controlled and want to know how it is and have all that structure in place and you know be bang on and you know I've really been able to let go of that and give that up and uh, that's been key I also trust you know I trust that we have someone who's been with us since Brooklyn pretty much since she was born and um, hey Ara and so it's about trusting trusting others and knowing that Brooklyn is also becoming independent through this process herself. She knows that mommy's gonna come back, daddy's gonna come back. She knows that she um, has her, she's, you know, she, she, she's got what it takes and she's such a happy, easygoing, free little, little monkey. And uh, yes, awesome, Jo, I'm so proud of you. Wow, that's huge, babe, huge for you. Um, congratulations on taking that taking that because you know it is really important as I mean I, a lot of the times the, the times when I have these these trips away it's work related um, not always Curtis and I still do some things for ourselves as well like we went to Singapore to develop ourselves it's being a lot about developing myself because I'm so incredibly passionate about helping other people break free of the status quo and really unleash their full potential and achieve their dreams. Hey Fiona, Phoebe, wow, miss you babe. So good to see you here. And um, and so therefore I'm con con continuously like raising the bar for myself so that I can raise the bar for others as well. So part of that, you know, I always know my intention is always for me.